and works of art take various forms. The most interesting for many people and the most challenging are those that involve space and time. And in that sense, you're involving the fourth. David Nash has an interesting position in the history of sculpture. And that is that the environment has been core to his work almost since the very beginning. Nash um, has been engaged with the environment, specifically with trees. I said I need a slope. It's best for it to be a slope, to be able to see the form. And there was a slope and the hill, and it was uh, unused. So when there was this big hillside that was a part of Jeff. Yeah, I think, the f I think it was probably on the first day, wasn't it? I came, I arrived on the Friday evening, and we, and, and then we drove around the park just to give me a, a, just a feel of it. So I could, and we saw the site then. I was very excited. And then the next day, just for about an hour, I had on my own with the poles, and I just put some in not trying to make a form, but just putting them in so I was getting my, I was actually got my feet on the mound. So there is uh, something really unique and something very precious about this notion of working with time and knowing what you're seeing is going to be very different than what your children are going to see. So are you comfortable with that? Yeah. yeah. You are? Absolutely. Because uh, the, the more, lo the lower it is, the more of a bend we're going to get in the initial. You see, there is an avenue here. There's a place 